I've been in a long-term murder plot against my life since I was in sixth grade. It probably started when my definition of happiness wasn't about playgrounds and swing sets. Hurting was at scraped knees and elbow bruises, and the beauty was molded by this monstrosity called conformity. I haven't realized it yet, but I've been saving up too much space for insecurities and sadness that by the time that I turned 15, physical appearance and others' approval was, made, was way more important than kind acts and self-worth. I focused too much on looking good for other people that I, should all, that I forgot that I should also be feeling good for myself. I started the murder when I turned 16. Who would have thought that there was more than one way for self-destruction? I turned my skin into a canvas and painted it with lines of crimson, thinking that sadness lays out from external wants. I was wrong. I saturated my blood with alcohol to numb my senses, only realizing that the demons have it down after waking up sober, I was really wrong. I smoked cigarettes, loved a guy who could have loved me back, and kissed unwilling lips, hoping that downing the cheapest voices could somehow make me whole. It only made me feel happier. But I finally succeeded on killing her when I turned 17. I always wondered why suicide isn't called murder. Is it voluntarily killing yourself a way of saying that you were involuntarily made unwilling to breathe for quite a while? I was warned about stolen things and murdered people, but never about stolen hearts and murdered happiness. As I was laying in bed half alive that night, I found it funny how hospital walls hear more sincere prayers than church benches. But I survived that long-term murder plot against my life when I was 19. When my definition of happiness wasn't about approval of others and material things, when hurting wasn't about broken hearts and ruined trust, and beauty isn't defined with thigh gaps and porcelain white skin. I realized that I should be saving up space for adventures and passion, that by the time that I turn 50, I would tell my children that self-worth and kind acts are more important than outer beauty. I started feeling better for myself that I don't even care if people think that I'm pretty. My skin is still a canvas, but now painted with tan lines, sunshine, and moonlight. My skin is, my blood is now saturated with adrenaline from all the wandering. I had mountains, watched sunsets, jump in waterfalls, chased waves, and kissed willing lips. Realizing that there's no other way of feeling cool than filling yourself with grand adventures. I was told about stolen things and murdered people, but never about stolen kisses and murdered demons. As I was laying in bed last night, half awake, I found it funny how wounds heal faster through kind hearts and loving people. Thank you.